Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch another video. It's a Sally with Hernandez Affordable Products. And today, guys, we have the very famous Microsoft Lumia 950 smartphone. All right, so something to keep in mind, guys, this particular model uh, that I got was through my AT&T uh, service provider. Uh, the packaging itself is very simple. I do not know if the uh, packaging from Microsoft is different or not, but this one is uh, specifically from AT&T, which is the uh, cell phone provider that I use. Now, as you can see, the packaging on this one in particular is simple. It's got the phone in the front, small, uh, it does show what the phone looks like, so that's great. However, no additional photos around the box like you would see on other packages, which is fine. I mean, like I said, this is a very simple box. So let's go ahead and open it and go inside. There is the phone. Now, before we jump into the phone, uh, we're going to go ahead and cover the basics inside the box here which you'll know is going to come with the charger right some booklets like the manuals and things like that and that's it pretty much on this particular uh, package so that's all that came with mine and of course I have the charger already in the office so I don't have it um, inside the box so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the design on this particular uh, phone. As you can see, it's all black, this one. I believe they also have a white one as well, which you'll see that color uh, on the back here. And as you can see, it's got the AT&T logo, the Windows logo. This phone in particular from the back view, it shows the speaker, the camera the flashlight right there on this side here there is no buttons as you can see and then in the front again you have some microphone areas here your uh, camera your speaker the Microsoft branding right on the top there and on the side here on the right side you will have the camera button here then this would be like your star button, your home button, if you will. And then your up and down buttons there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to power it on really quick. And while it's booting, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the features on the uh, phone. Now you can see the design in this one in particular. It's got this uh, black smooth shine to it. with that silver look to the branding like the Microsoft the buttons the logos the camera right to power it on you simply just press and hold the power button here and let's go ahead and place it there for just a moment there you go so really quick, let's uh, talk a little bit about the um, hardware in this particular phone. Uh, it shows here that it's got a 5.2 quad HD uh, on the phone. So that's the particular display, 2560 by 1440. That's huge. That's perfect picture. Um, it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 808. Uh, running a 1.8 gigahertz hexat core uh, processor. Bring it a little closer here, perhaps. So while I speak about the phone, you can see it. All right, and of course, it's got the 20 MP sensor triple LED natural flash by Say Is Optics, which is great as well. Now this particular phone, as mentioned, when we talk about the software, is built and powered by Windows 10. So the same capabilities and features and um, 
feel that you'll have on your Windows 10, the same thing you'll you'll have with the Windows uh, Phone, you know, Windows 10 operating system. It's built to do great thing, guys. Uh, basically, you know, unleash the potential of your digital life with a stunning quad HD display, which is great. You know, when I take pictures and videos, and some of the videos that I've taken have been with this particular phone, the quality is just amazing. You know, for example, it just powered on uh, right now. And then what I do here is, right when it powers on, it quickly gives me the option to show the time. It's got the day and in, in, in month. It shows me some of the emails that are currently uh, new and some text alerts, right? Now, I do have the option, like on Windows 10, to uh, choose which apps I want to display here. Me, personally, I chose the calendar and the text and things like that. So if I press the home button on the side here, it just goes to sleep. You see? If I press it again, it comes back. Now, you have the option to look at the phone with your eyes and unlock it and go in. Or, of course, you can slide it up and then type in the code that you use. So for security purpose, let me go ahead and put that in. And then there you have it. Uh, a great thing about the Windows Phone guys like Windows 10 is that you can personalize your start um, the way you want. You know, this would be considered your home screen, your start menu, right, uh, where you have all your tile applications. And you can personalize this the way you want. And so, you know, in my particular example, I chose this blue color to it with black. So you can see there's the black in the background and then the blue on some of the applications and then I move all my tiles around to really display the way I want it to you know I have the calendar on the top there uh, with my emails and then I have the phone app the uh, voice recorder app the contacts app right so if I open uh, my emails here for example brings up Outlook and then it has my emails really good right great display and then I can switch between the different email accounts that I currently have configured with the phone. I can get out by hitting the Windows button there. There you go. The calendar, the same thing. I'll bring it up. And then there's some of my appointments already displaying there. And then you can change the uh, display, whether you want it to be by day, month, or week, right? Just like any other calendar. The same thing with the famous uh, people's application that you'll find on Windows 10, right? There are all your contacts, for example, integrated. Depending on the accounts that you uh, configure with your phone, like Twitter or LinkedIn or your Microsoft, your Outlook, your Exchange account, your Office 365, your Google, etc., those will be all integrated with the same application. It has the famous uh, maps, just like you'll find on the Windows 10, and it displays very good. Uh, if you notice here, I have all the different uh, favorite locations and places that I go to, all in the map. So it really shows me that there. The display is great, right? I can pull up my favorites from here, and then it has all the favorites uh, right there. You know, it's it's great. You know, the, the performance, the display, how he... Uh, shows me everything it almost feels and in other words not almost but it does feel like I'm on, on my Windows 10 laptop or desktop and so you got the Windows Store here this is another famous software uh, built in the Windows 10 application so you have you see um, all the different apps on here and then of course these are like the famous ones and then I can switch between music home apps games right you can really uh, rotate the way you want it to this way and it displays amazing just like your Windows 10 so this is basically taking your desktop or laptop experience on the phone but in a mobile version of course so let's go ahead and keep going down here really quick you got the Microsoft Edge which is already also built into the Lumia 950 phone because of course it's powered by Windows 10 so if I open it really quick same experience same favorites is already logged into my Microsoft account It's all there right um, 
And I can basically, you know, add particular favorites, as you can see here, and just with one click, go inside those particular sites. And of course, if I choose, I can also pull up my favorites as well. So if I go back, for example, and then I choose to go a new tab, right? And then I open a new one. And then now from here, I can pull up my favorites, for example, which are the same favorites that I have on my desktop. Again, it's using the Microsoft account. So this is great how it just syncs and moves everything over very smoothly in a mobile version. And then uh, the very famous Windows uh, applications, right? Like the Office ones in this example, you have Word, PowerPoint, Note, Excel, um, the Power BI, the Skype, Teams, Dynamics 365. Those applications are available on the Windows Store. So to give you a great example on how amazing these applications are, if I open Word, let's say, you know, it syncs really well with the cloud. So I use Office 365 for the business, and then I use Outlook for just my personal, right? And then again, these are some of the uh, latest and recent documents that I've used and opened. They're here. So even though I can open them from here or open them from the desktop or laptop, they're show here just like they would on my other computer. So if I open a particular content ebook that I'm uh, creating for my subscribers, for example, on the content aspect, right? You know, it shows the mobile version of this particular ebook very well displayed. Um, the layout is, is, is awesome, right? It, it's just perfect. And then from here, I can choose to hit the option there, open, and then it shows me all the other documents available. Now, if I choose to browse to the OneDrive application, which again, guys, is also part of your Windows uh, 10, and of course, considering that this is a mobile uh, version of Windows 10, OneDrive is already built into this, guys, right? So anytime I want to exit, all I have to do is hit the Windows button like this. Let's go ahead and switch over to PowerPoint, for example. Amazing, right? Quick, fast and open another uh, content presentation uh, PowerPoint document that I'm creating here. And there it is, you see, a lot quicker. So if you display this very good on the display, uh, it lays out the document very well. And of course, in a mobile version. Now let me show you an example. Anytime I exit a document here, and I go back to the home screen because I want to take a call, open another app, whatever. You know, you can switch between applications anytime you want, as many times as you want. And when you go back, it's right where you left off. So, for example, if I hit the PowerPoint here, it's right where I left it. And, of course, you can view it that way or this way. Either way, it does what you're supposed to. See that? Awesome. Great for presentations. Great for a quick, hey, let me show you something, right? Is there. If we go down, we got, as mentioned, other applications which are also popular. You got your photos, your camera. The camera is already built into this, guys. If I show you this, right? Great resolution. If you can see this. And it has different options. You can switch between video, photo, or right from the application, you can go inside your different uh, images that or videos that you've uh, taken with this. See? Right from there. All right, so we exit that way. And then it has the uh, photos tile application, which is great because as you take photos and uh, videos, but mostly photos, it just kind of rotates nicely like that, which it really personalizes your phone. It has other famous applications. And again, you notice that the way that I personalize the phone is really to work for me. Um, you know, I only use the very famous applications for office, business, personal, calendar, email, contacts, right? Documents, music, videos, etc., and social media. So, for example, I have the very famous Groove Music from Microsoft, right? And then from here, I have all my library 
different playlists. I can rotate over to explore, which is almost like going into the store, but you're exploring new albums and new music. There you go. Right? Great display. It really gives you everything right on the phone like you would have on your laptop or desktop. And again, hit the home button and gets out of there. I have the very famous Pandora. He also has, which is great, guys, for those of you who have the Microsoft uh, Band Watch, right? It has its own application as well, which you can track your running, your workouts, all of that. And it has a very famous uh, alarm and clock application, which I use so much to really keep me uh, up to date as to, you know, all the different alarms that I have set up for you know, when I'm with the kids, when I'm meeting a customer, when I'm going to work out, when I'm with the family, when I need to, you know, work on some of my uh, marketing, you name it. And then I can even set up timers as well, which I use all the time. And they're there. Anytime you want to just bring them up, they're there. You just set the time, hit play, and ready to go. So all built in the Windows Phone, guys. The same experience as mentioned before on your uh, laptop or desktop computer as long as you have Windows 10 of course you have on the phone and you know you have the other famous application like movies and TV which is also another one from Microsoft Netflix let's go ahead and pull up Netflix here really quick to see how uh, fast and smooth this is on the phone give it a couple seconds of course this is a huge uh, application with lots to display and there it is right continue watching right you know some of the latest stuff that that I've watched very good same experience you'll see on any other Netflix application there's all the different movies and shows right very good all right so let's see what else we have here we got Twitter and Facebook those are also there and many other social media applications as well the very famous Xbox uh, application as well and and these are all syncing and linked together with those accounts with my laptop or desktop because again guys why I love huge fan of Microsoft is because everything is connected right it doesn't matter if I'm on the phone if I'm on the laptop or desktop or even on my surface uh, tablet it's all the same so let's go ahead and uh, talk a little bit more about the uh, hardware and what this thing offers here so let me go ahead and put that on there really quick gets up to 50 percent capacity with just 30 minutes of charging great this thing charges very fast guys i tell you that now, it has a very uh, famous application, which I personally don't use, considering that I have laptop, desktop, Surface, right, and all of that. But it has what they call the Windows Continuum application, which basically uh, you can connect your Lumia 950 to a Microsoft Display docking station. And then you're able to turn the phone into basically... A desktop experience right an external monitor a keyboard and a mouse office apps and Outlook scale up to create that big screen optimized work environment that makes you more productive it is a PC like experience basically powered by your phone uh, the size on this is 145 mm on the height the width is 73.2 the thickness is 8.2 uh, two, if you look at the thickness on the phone, it's very thin, guys. I mean, this thing fits perfectly in my hand. And keep in mind that this is the normal version uh, on the size. They have the XL as well, which is larger than this, which is actually uh, one that I'm considering. Uh, probably put this one for sale. Uh, the RAM is 3 GB which is amazing you wonder why it goes so fast you like to extend the size and by the way let me show you where that's located and also to open it if you like to is using this little open gap on the bottom here so let's go ahead and open it here really quick just like this slowly kinda go around it 
Very simple. And then here you have your battery. And then there you'll have your SIM card slot where you'll go ahead and upgrade your memory if you choose to do that. To put it back on, guys, you just simply kind of slide it in, push it. Very simple. And it's done. There you go. Put that there. Maximum standby time is 11 days. You can keep the phone on standby. I mean, literally, I'll keep the phone all day, days at a time, and it's still running. Of course, I'll plug it in every now and then, here and there, but um, the phone just won't restart because it went crazy. It won't freeze or anything. I mean, this is the best so far as to the Windows phone goes. And I'm sure that there's some great uh, phones coming up. Maximum talk time is uh, 13 hours on 3G. Maximum music play time is 67 hours. And maximum Wi-Fi network browsing time is 8.1 hours. And maximum video play time is 6.3 hours. So the battery, as you can see, it can handle a lot. Bluetooth 4.1, uh, hands-free profile on the Bluetooth as well. Uh, which another great feature on this, guys, I have it synced, connected, linked, whatever, on my Infinity. And the fact that my Infinity offers uh, the phone and Bluetooth option, I'm able to connect it to the car. And when a call comes in or a text, he actually reads that to me. So I'm able to kind of speak with Cortana as to reply to the text, read the text, etc. And then when a call comes in, I can pick up using the car, the speakers, right? All of that without being on the phone. So that is really a hands-free experience uh, using the Bluetooth connection. When we talk about the GPS and the navigation, guys, it has location technology. And the maps, this location right here, uh, this application here, the maps, that offers GPS. And so if I show you really quick here, you know, if I choose a particular location, let's say, and then we go, let's say, okay, let's go ahead and pull up the address. So we'll bring up the address and then see what it's doing, right? Then hit go. Here we go. Turn left. So it basically starts showing you the GPS right built built into the maps application. So go ahead and edit from there and then just follow the GPS wherever you want to go. On the video recording, um, you have 4K resolution, ultra HD guys, 3840 by 2160. So the video qualities are perfect as mentioned. 4K Ultra HD. There you have it, guys, the very famous Microsoft Lumia 950 smartphone from Microsoft, right? And the very first Windows phone. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it on social media. If you have the phone already, post your comments, share your experience with it. Um, and as always, if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and Hit the subscribe button now. It should be below this video.